at kvinden vil blive dræbt. Meet Agent Storm. Helt præcist. Det var jo formålet. Altså, formålet var jo ikke at, at få hende tilbage. Morten Storm. He's a very likable person. And, and he seems to me like a chameleon. He, he's really uh, been a double or triple agent, so to speak. A former biker, he became a militant Islamist, visited Yemen several times, and befriended a man who would become one of Al-Qaeda's most wanted, cleric Anwar al laki Then he changed sides and turned secret agent. Storm says he worked for the CIA and Danish intelligence services. It's such an unusual story because it is so rare that two services uh, completely um, mishandle, misjudge him. In the movies, James Bond never gives up his secrets, but Storm is telling it all to the Danish newspaper Jyllands Posten. He called our main number and got um, and started to explain his his story. We were a bit scared that this could be some kind of of um, weird trap. We did set up the first meeting um, one night uh, in a, on a dark parking lot. A story that includes his part in a CIA plot to track down Al Laki by finding him a young, blonde European wife. Storm says he was paid a quarter of a million dollars to set up Al Laki's wedding. He describes meeting a man he calls a CIA agent at this hotel in a Copenhagen suburb, June 9, 2010. He says the agent gave him a briefcase. It was locked. He asked for the combination. The agent told him 007. Storm says he opened the case. Inside, he found $250,000 in cash. To back up his claims, Storm not only had a photo of the case of cash, but this matchmaking moment. This recording is done specifically for uh, Sister Amina uh, at her request. And uh, the brother who's carrying this uh, recording is a trustworthy brother. Assalamu alaikum, brother. It's me. Amina and uh, I just want to tell you uh, that uh, right now I feel nervous and this is very awkward for me so I just uh, tape this just to see that you can see how I look. When I watched these tapes of, of video marriage proposals from an Al-Qaeda leader and this woman's answers I, 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 I thought well this story is impossible to deny. The storm says the CIA sent him to Vienna to meet Amina, a Croatian convert to Islam. He gave her a suitcase with a secret tracking device in the handle and got her to Yemen to meet Al Laki. He has the hotel bills to prove it. They are paid by a company that we know is a Danish secret service company. And there is more. Storm hoarded a trove of documents, including secret coded communications with Al Laki. Even this. A photo, he says, that shows him with his intelligence handlers in a hot tub in Reykjavik. His revelations, however, are not to everyone's taste. It brings danger to, uh, I think, Denmark. It, it also exposes the, the, the very secret, the very essence of intelligence services, and that is means and methods. They never discuss means and methods. So far, US officials here in Denmark have offered no explanation about Morton Storm's claims and certainly no acknowledgement of the CIA agents he claims to have met, Michael, Alex, Jed and George. Storm says his final mission was to take a USB thumb drive to Yemen for Al Laki. Inside it, a CIA tracking device. He handed it off to an Al Qaeda courier. Within weeks, Al Laki was killed in a US drone strike. A week after Al Laki was killed, Storm was angry with the CIA. He felt they had let him down. Danish intelligence agents convinced him to come to a meeting here, the Marion List Hotel, on the 7th of October 2011. Storm was recording the meetings. He met with a CIA agent named Michael. Michael told him, President Obama knows about you, that important people are aware of what you are doing, and we are grateful. It's against your honor as American, as the superpower of the world. The recordings reveal Storm wanted credit for killing Al Laki, 
but Michael told him a parallel operation was responsible. The meeting was a watershed. They lost control over him. Um, and uh, they now have to, to sort of sweep up the mess that is left behind. Now Storm is in hiding. CNN has been in contact with him. He realizes, of course, that he's in danger, but he also strongly believes that he's been in danger for years. And, and his analysis is that going public is not worsening his security situation. But his life as a double agent is surely over. Nick Robertson, CNN, Copenhagen, Denmark.